Hey, boys and girls, how's it going? So, basically, what the hell happened yesterday? We had no falling. In fact, we had the opposite. We had the market rallying. And for the first time in, I think, ever, the United Nations, which has zero zero remit um, or zero jurisdiction within, you know, global monetary policy, started calling on the Fed and other CBs to halt interest rate uh, increases. So obviously someone at the UN is worried about stock crashes and stuff like that. And so that then sparked a bit of a, a risk on environment. And therefore we had, and not just that, we had a few other news announcements as well. As in, there were loads of um, emergency meetings yesterday, which basically turned on the on the printer. Well, not you know that's that's more of a um, rough analogy, but it's not. Uh, there was no actual printing going on yesterday. It was just a, it was just a spike on on the news. So what we've seen is the dollar had a bit of a pullback. Um, now you always have to maintain things on on the bigger perspective. So even on the daily chart, what happened on the dollar yesterday was was nothing it's just a pullback and we have that 11 year long trend line going all the way back well 11 years ago <laughs> is that thicker one which uh, which we've all seen before so if anything like any big breach it's you know it's pumped up f from there and we're having a kobo so it's just pulling back to test previous support uh this arrow we've already gone far beyond that so we can get rid of that now so yeah um and again if you're just drawing simple, simple lines, something like this. Excuse me, I'm on my mobile, so fat fingers and all. Um, yeah, I'm looking to see if the dollar starts rallying now. If that does, then uh, we need to load up more shorts. But as you can see, S&P 500 had a, a bit of a rally, but again, it's nothing. In any proper bear market or, or crash, you will always have odd uh, pullbacks. As in, like, like that one there. And what happened yesterday was literally just um, this. So, yeah, everything had a bit of a pullback. Um, in terms of crypto, um, yeah, so Bitcoin is now pulling back to that big old trend line from the all time highs. Ignore, oh, I've got loads of doodles here, so sorry about that. But what is interesting on Bitcoin is that we now. If I get rid of some of this mess, we've now breached that, that trend line. Now, I, I think that's completely relevant. I think that's more of a, um, a fake out. The, the key thing right now is that key 20,000 level, which we're sat on. There we go. So, again, I'm not adding any more shorts just yet. Um, mind you, I'm mainly shorting Ether. Um, but yeah, if we start having a move down on Bitcoin, then we will get further follow through. So again, even on ETH, um, not much really happened. So my my average buy-in was about thirteen twenty-five. It's all average, sort of sell. But as you can see, ignore that one. Uh, but yeah, most of my liquidation levels are north of eighteen hundred. So I've, I've I've used about two times lev. <laughs> so. Yeah, liquidation points are nowhere near. So what I'm actually looking forward to is uh, entering more short, so effectively scaling in. So these are longer term positional trades where I'm just leaving them. And so here we're at a level, I'm, I won't be entering short just yet, but I'd like to get short again around 1400. Um, and then again, if we hit you know, this level here, there's a big confluence of resistance here nice area to to get short so i'm just gonna be loading up i think this is just spurious noise um and if anything this is a bit of a consolidation period whether we're having a rising compression or or whatever but it's, it's too early to tell uh, ultimately um what else i'm shorting link at the moment so that's just again within some big compression um nothing much going on there but yeah i think now is definitely not the time to be super bullish so if you go to gmx da, 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 gmx stat 
it's this one here. So there's lots of um, derivative trading going on GMX at the moment. And having a look at da, 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 where the trade has gone. Come on, internet. There we go. So one thing I've, I've noticed with JMX is that um, there's about 100,000 users on here and the average PL is negative. So as you can see, this red accumulated zone as it shows that there's traders on average have lost more than they've, they've won. Um, and also in terms of open interest, this is also rather interesting. So every time you see um, sort of a bias to one side, so like when everyone's been major net long, guess what's happened? The markets have dumped. Um, so it's quite positive for me to see that more people are bullish than, than bearish at the moment. So I'd like this to get a little bit more bullish, please, because everyone gets it wrong in GMX. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you look at the fundamentals, like if you, if you library go to my videos and re watch this video, one with the tin um, four yeah, hat. It's not. Um, this goes through the global macro at the moment, and I think you've got to be barking nuts. Uh, to, to be bullish right now. Uh, if anything, the best move is just to sit in cash, sit in Binance USD, do nothing, uh, and just wait. There's a lot more falling to come. Um, but yeah. Until then, we will continue stalking, and I will see you all soon. All eyes on the dollar. Toodles.